We actually destroyed a destroyer and a cruiser, but we did lose one of our dive bombers. You can take a look at that in this video, which should show it, which just, it's such a cool add-on to this game. We have our fighters going in. Let's look at the torpedo bomber. That's maybe one of their escort carriers that was hit, I think. Another one? That's a miss. That's a shame. Oh, and a zero knocked one of those out. Okay, that's not good. All right, howdy folks. Welcome back to Aircraft Carrier Survival. The game actually just released today on Steam, which you can find a link to that at the top of the description. The developers were so nice to hand me a code a little early so I could make this video ready for release. They actually played some of the free demo, and I'm sure a lot of you actually played the free demo as well, but now the game is fully released and actually has quite a few more things to look at. Now, mostly interesting is, of course, the game is about carriers, what do you want? More carriers. Guess what? They have a Lexington, which we already had, and also a Yorktown and an Essex-type carrier to pick from. But as you can see, you need to unlock a bunch of different things on the previous carrier to actually get to unlock it. All right, so before we get into some of the gameplay, obviously I actually have upgraded my planes to Wildcats, and I also changed the camo or color on my torpedo bombers. Really like this yellow gray camouflage scheme. You can kind of, it's hard to see sometimes what the differences are, but you can definitely put different camos on your planes. It just makes them look, actually we'll do this blue one. Looks very fancy. You can unlock better planes, better dive bombers, but it costs these orange points and I already spent all of them on upgrading my fighters. I also spent them on upgrading plane capacity so I can bring a couple of more fighters. And I also got myself a destroyer escort. Now we're gonna go into a mission. It looks like we are gonna be doing Wake Island Rescue. I should mention, by the way, there's tutorials, there's this campaign, and there's a sandbox mode. I'm not sure what the sandbox mode is. I'm assuming it's just a campaign that never ends, but it's worth mentioning there is something for people that have maybe already completed the campaign and want to do something a little bit less restricted. So it looks like we have to destroy at least three enemies to get a medal. Do not lose more than two squadrons and finish the mission within 20 hours. Locate and destroy the enemy carrier and then launch civilian VIP on the island. Okay, so we're just getting our third Hellcat on deck and then we're going to get off this cat mission. Actually, we can send these guys in to counter the scouts. That might be worth doing, but I also need recon up ASAP. So we'll launch this, and then I guess we'll prepare the recon. Confirm it. Okay. And then we just need to get our bombers on the deck. Bomber squadron on the deck. I do feel like a lot of this game, especially I guess when you only have a single aircraft elevator, is really just pressing the fast forward button until your guys actually get on the deck. As you can see, it's taken quite a bit of a while, even, you know, with the triple speed. So now we have our required units up. We can now send our recon. We're going to launch them out to here. We're then going to retrieve them over here, but our fleet is moving their way there. And then we're going to have to figure out I think we do a recon, and then we're gonna to have to do an identify, and then we're obviously gonna to have to do the attack run while also keeping our own carrier secure. So we're gonna just speed this up again, and then we'll see what our bombers can find over there. Enemy scouts have been destroyed, that's perfect. Slow down, now let's recover our fighters, so they should be coming in any second now, and then we're gonna to have to push them back under the deck, which really, I guess I'd be interested to see how it works when you have three elevators going and not just one because these guys have to go all the way here land and then they have to go here to the elevator and actually go underneath where all the other planes are stored as you can see but yeah when you have three elevators i guess you can just get a lot of fast up and down going where you're not really kind of bottlenecked really by that one elevator that's left it looks like we've detected the enemy we've spotted some light cruisers but we need to send I think and identify targets over there. We know one of them is gonna be a carrier, but we need to know what that second one is, or I guess technically third one, and then we can set up our attack plan. Though we're probably gonna focus obviously on the carrier since that is our main objective. Then we're gonna get our bombers up because we need a single rotation of bombers to go out and reconnoiter, I guess technically, 
what the enemy fleet actually consists of. So these guys are going to have to come up. Again, lots of speeding up, speeding down, I feel like. And then when this is up, we'll send them to launch. So now they're going to do a recon. We're going to do a cap, which is combat air patrol, which should engage any incoming units uh, and hopefully protect the carrier and the fleet. As you can see, there's actually a whole fleet here as so I zoom out. We have a submarine addition there. We have a bunch of supply and transport ships. We have our Fletcher Destroyers escort carrier. And these all have different abilities. Uh, you can get supplied because of your planes. If they get destroyed, you need new supplies. I believe your subs are useful against enemy ships, whereas your destroyers have other abilities. So you can actually have quite a few different support ships, heavy cruisers, submarines. All right, so we've spotted the enemy fleet, which also consists of a destroyer and then the escort carrier. Obviously, that's going to be our main target. So now we're going to, I think we can send up our cap. So that's these two fighter units. They're gonna go up and protect the carrier. This is the most important thing. You actually have to add airstrike mission. So we're gonna select the guy who's already in the room. He's going to select the airstrike mission. So they can actually prepare one on the enemy fleet so you click on that and now we have to do the important thing we want to destroy the escort carrier obviously uh, use these cards which are the attacks and these are very important to very much clearly read what stuff says in the description of these cards to either make or break your attack I've managed to set it so that none of my pilots will get shot down, hopefully, according to the text. I can't add any more of cards because every card has a little number here and it's the amount of planes or I guess squadrons of that type. So two fighters, two torpedo, one bomber, etc. that will be used or be required. But the issue is my deck can only support, I think this says six, and we need more than six to actively destroy the carrier. So instead of going for that, I could try to do a smaller attack run on the cruiser or even the destroyers, but I think it makes more sense to just go hard after the carrier and not really worry too much about wasting my time with different ships. The thing is that this lead cruiser disables the attack of all supportive maneuvers, which is why this feint actually should be a lot higher but it only gives it gives me zero attack because this is supportive move and the light cruiser disables it we're going to confirm it which means we want to recovery area to be about there and we're going to confirm that and now obviously we need to get two bombers so one two fighter one two oh crap we need to have more crew in the department for the we need more guys in the air department probably medical can you move there? We don't really need him right now. I guess the same goes for the anti-air. So we're kind of making this risky thing now where we can't really heal people. But I'm okay with that considering we're not under attack right now. Take some second to actually get there. One more dive bomber and then two more torpedo bombers. And then now we need to obviously speed it up quite a bit because we need to wait for all of these guys to be on the deck and then we can launch that attack mission. I also need to keep in mind that I'm going to have this recon and the identifying targets guys coming back at some point so I need to swap the deck around whenever I get these guys up and then retrieve them again. All right, my final guys are now ready. We should be good to launch the airstrike and that's awesome because when these guys all go crazy, I'm going to you know what we're going to already turn it to recovery next which is sort of the loading orders you can see there and then we should be in time to get our identified targets and our recon back on the deck so you can see they're going to start taking off here one by one now technically you could move for example these guys up first it's a whole lot of shifting and messing around uh, but this game does look really cool and it kind of reminds me especially when you go into this mode almost of U-Boat, a game that I really love, which is that U-Boat simulator sort of game, more managerial than Silent Hunter, but it really reminds me of it. This is obviously as a carrier. I wish that there was also other factions. I'd love to do this for the Japanese, for example, but maybe they'll have that as something down the line. Personally, would really love that. We're gonna go ahead and fly these guys all out of here. And then once they're off the deck and flying, we're gonna make sure we recover our planes because if you don't recover them, they are going oh, we're to do damage? That might have just been random damage that honestly happened. So we're sending my damage control team over there. If you don't recover them, they'll eventually fall into the ocean and then you obviously have just lost a bunch of your planes. All right, so I think the weather may have really played a part in this. 
I think the weather may have played a part in this. None of their ships were damaged, but none of my planes were either. And the cool thing is you can actually watch a video of what happened. This might just be my planes not hitting a single bomb or torpedo, but the enemy also not being capable whatsoever uh, to damage my planes, which is kind of unlucky on both ends, but you get these cool cinematics and they obviously differ whether you're attacking a carrier or a destroyer or whatever. All right, we're sending out six squadrons. We're sending out three fighters, one bomber and two torpedo aircraft. And I'm actually going to be targeting the light cruisers because as long as these are alive, it will disable the attack on all of my supportive maneuvers. Just unlucky that last time we didn't get any kills. It does say that it will kill one or two of the enemy target, but we also have a potential to lose one or two of our units. So we're going to actually get some fighters on the deck, some torpedo bombers, and get this one going. We're going to pick them up here. Confirm. All right, our airstrike should be ready. So we're going to go ahead and launch this one with our fingers crossed. We're going to go ahead and I think we're also going to want to deploy two fighters to counter the scouts. And then we need to recover the entire airstrike or they're all going to crash into the water, which obviously would be just a little awkward. But you can see it takes a little while for these guys to get off the ship, get them going. You know, we're talking about like 18 airplanes here. These guys don't move very easily, clearly. Okay, we did. Ooh, we actually maybe destroyed a destroyer and a cruiser, but we did lose one of our dive bombers. You can take a look at that in this video, which should show it, which just it's such a cool add-on to this game. We have our fighters going in. Let's look at the torpedo bomber. That's maybe one of their escort carriers that was hit. I think. Another one. That's a miss. That's a shame. Oh, and a zero knocked one of those out. Okay, that's not good. But we may... Okay, there's only an escort carrier left. So we could easily destroy that with attack wing, I suppose. But they're going to attack us now. We got, what is this coming in? Five defense points is what we need to hold off. So we could defend. Okay. Why don't we send up both of these? So now we're increasing our defenses for the next four hours and the next six hours with a free cap as well as we're also hopefully this, I think this adds one point to the defense here. We're not going to worry about this. I don't have, oh, I don't have a guy right there right now. Oh, crap. I need to switch a whole bunch of people around. Uh, navigation department to the medical. This guy needs to be moved here. We're being attacked by planes right now. This is all... Oh, oh, God. As we're being resupplied... Oh, crap. As you can see, there's resupplies going in and off of my ship there. Oh, that's not good. Hopefully they don't really do much to me there. Can we recover... Uh, we need to recover these guys basically all... I also want to send out a cap. All right, so this strategy will ensure the safety of all my pilots and will ensure the total destruction of their forces. So we need one fighter, one bomber, three torpedo aircraft. Now the good thing is that we're going to have a, quite a few of them, I think, land. So we just need, what do we need? One more fighter? No, one fighter, one bomber, three torpedoes. So we just need to get one fighter off and then we're good. So yeah, we can get these guys back. Set up another attack wave and then hopefully destroy that guy and go save the VIP off the island. So while I was messing around, a plane actually managed to freaking crash on the deck. Ready. So I think we're going to have to tell them now, our DC teams, to go push this. I think what they would... That's a good question. I wonder if they would push it off into the sea. Maybe if it wasn't too messed up, they probably would try to repair it. But right now we can't land anyone on the deck which is a little awkward so we got our crew here they're running over our dc crew and maybe they are going to be pushing it yeah oh okay no that's uh pfft. okay they definitely didn't want to keep that on the ship okay so maybe no repairs then what that means though we can i believe if all of our guys are recovered we can We've switch all of these planes to be launching. attacking and then what we're going to do we're going to send in that last attack wave here soon all right, so we managed to knock out the carriers. It took three or four tries, but we only lost like one or two aircraft. Quite a bit of heavy AA here, by the way, as we're going in for the final one or two carriers, it seems like. Though that first torpedo definitely missed, 
but we knocked those out but currently we're actually under attack by a nine strength air wing we also have enemy scouts overhead so we are in quite a bit of trouble here but nine is a very high number to try and counter and i don't have any good like defensive abilities our final planes are taken off for the rescue VIP mission. We destroyed the enemy scouts, which is good. There's no video of that, by the way, sadly enough. But we're going to be under attack any moment, and they have more power. Oh, they're already going lower to the ground, or lower to the water. This might not be good. Uh, crap, 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 crap. I don't know if we can get the other ones up there soon enough. Can we? Can we? Okay, I'm telling them to launch, and then I'm going to switch to recovery. Our anti-aircraft guns are already engaging. Oh, that's... Oh, we shot a couple of them down there. There's, they're going to hurt me. I'm assuming there's going to be some... Yeah, that's a torpedo. I think it just hit, almost hit us there. Okay, hopefully our there cap did something there. Uh, oh, we're... Okay, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, guys. I think they're all doing their thing. So I don't really want to DC them too much, as in direct control them too much, because I'm sure they're doing a good job. It does look like our VIP rescue mission is almost done. Should be about... Oh, they're... Okay, they are coming all the way back, so we have to recover those as well. Green is critically injured. I thought I was working on this guy. What, eight hours to heal? All right, so we're just recovering our VIP craft, and that should, I think, be a mission success. And that's it! That was the first mission. Did we do it? No. Okay, we took a little bit too much time. We did destroy a minimum of three enemies. We only lost one of the two we were allowed to lose. And we got some extra renown. So, oh, we can award medals. Okay, one of my officers. Okay, sure. And then we'll re award this crew member that was injured. We can either give him damage control, air, or a generalist. You know, I like damage control because we're going to get hit, right? And then we can assign one more medal. Maybe we'll do this to one of the crew members and make him anti-aircraft because it's also going to be something that we obviously will get a lot of. That's going to be it for the game for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.